coyote, he's the mischievous one of the whole bunch. Of all the creatures God or the Creator made, coyote was mischievous. If there was trouble, he'd find it. And so, coyote, he just happened to be coming down this path through the forest. And it was on a bright, sunny day like today. Popped up in this meadow. And on the other side of the meadow was this big rock. And he was kind of trotting along. And then lo and behold, Bobcat is taking a nap on that rock in the sun. You guys ever fall asleep in a car because it's nice and warm? Yeah. Well, that's how it was. Bobcat was just taking a good old nap. Coyote, he goes, ah, I'm going to play trick on this guy. So he reached in his pouch, got the magic powder the creator gave him. Sprinkled it over Bobcat. And he says, sleep hard. Sleep very hard. And he put the magic powder back in his pouch. Now that made Bobcat really sleepy. So sleepy, he didn't know Coyote was there. And so Coyote... I'm going to play a trick on this guy. What could I do? I got the idea. Took the scissors out. Cut off Bobcat's tail. And then, to top it off, he shortened his legs. And on top of that, he made him skinny and made his feet like a little round ball. <laughs> and he stood back and go, oh, I'm not done yet. Takes his head, makes that head into a little round ball. <laughs> Pushes in his nose. And he cuts his ears really short, so they're sharp. And then he stood back and he says, Ah, oh, yeah, that's good. That's good, really good. So he left. He went down the path. A couple hours later, Bobcat woke up. And you know how we all go, Oh man, it's a good nap. And he goes, Man, I feel weird. I feel funny. And he looked in the looked at his shadow. And he got scared of his shadow because he didn't he didn't recognize himself. <laughs> so he peeked over the rock again and looked at a shadow. And then he goes, oh my gosh. The creator did this to me because he thought he'd done something wrong. And the creator was taking it out on him or punishing him. And he was sitting there crying. Go, oh, my head is round, round like a ball. My hands are not big like they used to be. And he goes, I ain't got no tail either. <laughs> so he was sitting there crying. And then he just happened to look at the little, little road in front of that rock. And whose tracks did he see? Yeah, he saw Coyote's tracks, and he thought to himself, he did this to me. <laughs> and so he jumped from that rock, and he started following his tracks. 
caught up to Coyote the next day. Coyote taking a nap. Yeah. So he kind of snuck up to Coyote. He reached in his bag, pulled out the magic powder. Sleep, sleep hard. Sleep some more so you don't know I'm here. Put it back in his bag. And so what does he do? He does the same thing Coyote did to him, but the opposite. You cut off my tail, so I'm going to fluff yours up. So he grabbed his tail and went, <laughs> and Coyote's tail went, got big, big, big and bushy. You made my legs short. So he grabbed his Coyote's legs and he pulled on them, all four of them. <laughs> And gave him little tiny paws. And he goes, you cut my ears off. So he pulled on Coyote's ears. Yeah. Made him big. <laughs> and that wasn't it. That wasn't all. You remember he pushed his nose in? Well, Ky well, Bobcat goes, you pushed my nose in, so I'm going to pull yours out. So he grabbed him by the head and pulled on his nose. <laughs> and then he stepped away from Coyote. And he goes, paybacks. <laughs> and so he went down the road. Coyote wakes up a little later on. And what does he do? And this is what he does. Well, when he wakes up, after he gets done stretching, he's kind of sitting there. And he thinks there's a fly in front of his face. <laughs> so he goes to swat it and hits his nose. <laughs> So after he hit his nose, he's kind of sitting there. And then he realized his hands were tiny and his legs were long. His arms and legs were so long. He goes, this don't look right. And then when he stood up and the sun was shining, he turned around. And then he asked himself, there's something behind me. <laughs> and so he spins around really fast, but there's nothing there. <laughs> and when he looks at the ground, what does he see? His shadow. his shadow! And his shadow, he had this giant tail, all fluffy and about that long. Well, anyway, he goes, what? I'm sorry. He's, he thought the creator did this to him. And he was going, I'm sorry. Please turn me back. And then he looks on the ground and sees Bobcat's footprints. <laughs> so he gets mad. And he chases Bobcat down. He caught up to him in the forest. And then when they met each other, they were mad at each other. But then all of a sudden, the creator appeared. And he says, because you two misbehave, and you use that medicine in the wrong way, I'm taking it away. And that's you two are going to look like that for the rest of all eternity. That's how come Bobcat got a round head, little paws, no tail.
and coyote got a big tail, little <coughs> feet, and a long nose with big ears. And the moral of the story, don't tease your friends because they're going to play a trick on you. <laughs>